What's up, home bartenders? So two weeks ago, we made homemade amaretto. Only took about 15 minutes. One of the easiest homemade liqueurs we've ever done on the channel. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that uh, homemade amaretto and we're gonna make three awesome amaretto cocktails that you probably haven't heard of. I mean, everyone loves the amaretto sour and the godfather, that's one of my personal favorites. But these are gonna be three different amaretto cocktails that you haven't heard of, but I think they're gonna be pretty damn good. All right, let's do it. Okay, for this first one, we've got some cognac using Courvoisier, our homemade amaretto, and an Isla Scotch using Ardbeg, and some honey syrup. This is the homely smoke. All right, so fill our, whoop, lost an ice cube there. Fill our mixing tin with ice. We're gonna dump an ounce and a half of cognac, follow that up with half an ounce of our homemade amaretto and just a quarter ounce of a peated Isla Scotch. Make sure you use a smoky Scotch for this one. After that, we've got just a bar spoon of honey syrup. That's three parts honey, one part water, just to make it uh, mix easier, dilute it a bit. And we're gonna top that off with one or two dashes of Angostura bitters. That's it, we're gonna give that a really good stir until where it's nice and chilled and diluted. And then we're going to do a slow, sexy pour into a nice coupe or Nick and Nora or whatever you got. We're serving it up. There we go. This one gets garnished with an, a lemon peel. We're gonna express those oils on there, wrap it around and just dump it in the glass. And there it is, the homely smoke. This looks really tasty. Okay, for this next one, we've got some dry vermouth, homemade amaretto and Campari. This is the Dolce Amaro, and there's no spirit in this one, so it's a low ABV cocktail. Okay, we're gonna start with an ounce and a half of dry vermouth. We then have three quarter ounce of our homemade amaretto, and finish it off with a full ounce of Campari. All right, get some ice in the mixing tin, and then we're gonna give that a really good stir until everything is chilled and diluted. And we're gonna serve this one in a rocks glass over some fresh ice. If you have a big rock of ice, use that. I haven't made a um, large clear ice in a while. I gotta get back to doing that. For garnish, we're gonna give this one an orange peel. And there it is, the Dolce Amaro. This one's low ABV, so you know it's gonna be nice, easy drinking. All right, moving on to our final drink this evening. We've got some ginger ale, our homemade Amaro, and some scotch. This is the Lock Almond Highball. All right, so starting in a Collins glass, because it is a highball, we're gonna build it directly in. So top that with some ice, ounce and a half of our scotch, I'm using the classic Laddie from Group Lodic. We're gonna do three quarter ounce of Amaretto, and we're simply gonna top it off with ginger ale. I'm using Canada Dry, low calorie one, but whatever. Give it a little more ice, and top it off. We're gonna give it a straw and give it a quick little stir to mix over those ingredients and garnish with a lemon slice. And there it is, the Lock Almond Highball. All right, we've got three hopefully awesome cocktails made with our homemade amaretto. Let's give them a taste, shall we? All right, starting with the first one here, which is the I forget the names already. Um, oh my God, I just had it. A few moments later. The Homely Smoke. I mean, this is basically a godfather. Um, the cognac gives it a certain richness and kind of fruitiness, um, but because it has the peated scotch and um, and of course the amaretto, uh, it definitely feels like a Godfather. So this is really good because Godfather is one of my favorite cocktails. Oh yeah, it's a Godfather with a little extra kind of fruitiness um, from the from the, the cognac. Oh, I could drink this all night. This one, that's fantastic. All right, the Dolce Amaro. This is a low ABV because everything, there's no spirit in here, so nothing of high alcohol content. It's just our Amaro, uh, some Campari, and some dry vermouth. So definitely some Negroni vibes because of the Campari and the vermouth, although Negroni would be sweet vermouth, but um, surprisingly, 
The amaretto kind of gets buried in this one. Um, it's good, I don't mind this, especially if you want something low ABV, you know, you're, you're not looking to get hammered. Um, this is pretty damn, this is pretty decent. I, it's, it's like a Lea, low ABV Negroni kind of deal. Um, but the Amaretto is definitely an afterthought. I get it on the back end, it's really Campari forward, and then vermouth, and then on the back end, um, that almond, that almond Amaretto flavor. Let's move on to the Lock Almond Highball. There's no way this is not gonna be good. It's ginger ale, it's, it's, uh, it's scotch and amaretto. I should, probably shouldn't have said, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, I like where it's going. I'm not in love with it. So there's too much amaretto, it's too sweet. Um, here's what, how I would fix this. So if you wanna bring back the screen and we're gonna fix it right on the spot, we're gonna go two ounces of scotch. We're gonna do half an ounce of amaretto, not a full ounce. And instead of ginger ale, we're gonna go ginger beer. We're gonna make this one a mule um, because the ginger ale is sweeter. Ginger beer has that spicy element that gives that extra kick. Um, I also should have used a peated scotch. I mean, I mean Classic Laddie is a fantastic scotch, but I think a little smoke in here, would, it's unpeated. Even though it's an Isla scotch, it's unpeated. So a little smokiness in here would have, uh, would have helped this uh, a lot and that bite uh, from the ginger beer instead of ginger ale, and a little less amaretto would make this a killer uh, highball. But overall, guys, these are killer cocktails. I think my favorite would be the, um, the first one there, the, the uh, Homely Smoke, because it really has got, it's got some nice Godfather vibes. Second place, gonna give it to the Dolce Amaro. It's a nice low ABV sipper, very Negroni-like. In third place, um, the highball, the Lock Almond highball, like the flavor, it just needs a little tweaking in the recipe. Um, I hope you give these a try, guys. Uh, so, and I hope if you haven't checked out that video, go check out the homemade amaretto. Make your own amaretto, it's super simple. We made this in 20 minutes, and um, it's a really good, um, it's a really good amaretto. So I hope you give it a try. Hope you give these cocktails a try. Uh, and we will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Cheers, guys.